This is an update for friends and supporters of Pastor Torben Sondergaard, who has now been unjustly imprisoned for more than 200 days. We have some encouraging news we want to share with you today. One of the largest charitable giving organizations for Christian causes in the world, the National Christian Foundation, has partnered with Torben and created a fund on their platform to receive tax-deductible donations for Torben's defense effort. Up until now, the public fundraiser was running through a website called Give, Send, Go, and while we are grateful for that platform and their support, the Give, Send, Go was not able to offer tax deductions for donations. For that reason, we have merged the fundraiser over to the National Christian Foundation. There's a link for the new giving website posted in the description of this video as well as on the Torben Sonergord Facebook page. So, as of today, people who wish to support Torben and his legal defense effort will be able to make a tax-deductible donation to that fund directly. We wanted to read to you a beautiful epistle that details the spiritual insight into Torben's battle. Torben Sondergaard is a prisoner for the Lord. The beautiful thing about a prisoner for the Lord is no wicked scheme of man can take away his freedom, even if they put him behind bars, such is the case for Torben Sondergaard, a Danish pastor who leads the last Reformation. Torben has been unjustly held in prison since June 30th, 2022. On that day, Torben attended an interview in Florida to discuss his immigration status, and instead he was surprisingly arrested. Torben is no stranger to persecution, as he was forced to flee his home country of Denmark after legislation was to be passed. That could hold pastors criminally liable for doing certain types of ministry. Torben was the target of an aggressive cancel culture campaign and made the difficult decision to flee his home country for America. Brothers and sisters, Torben needs our prayers and support. In America, we have been fortunate to be spared much of what our brothers and sisters in the faith have experienced throughout history. But what is happening to Torben highlights how this persecution is coming to our shores. Today, many Christians are experiencing the same kind of persecution Torben is experiencing. In fact, a recent study estimated 245 million Christians are currently being persecuted for their faith. In 2018, 4,000 136 Christians were killed for their faith, and 2,600 were detained without trial and sentencing. But we must not forget what the enemy intends for evil, God will use for good. The enemy tried to drive God's own son out of his own creation, and his desire is to do the same to the men and women in whom Jesus' spirit lives. And Torben is one of these servants of Christ. For over six months, Torben has joined this company of brave men and women, having been unjustly detained. And we believe this is a direct result of his bold Christian faith. Torben is experiencing a prophetic fulfillment of the words of Jesus in John 15, when he says, If the world hates you, know that it has hated me first. If they persecute me, they will persecute you. We take comfort knowing the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those crushed in spirit. The Father is drawing near to Torben in his hour of need. But as fellow Christians, we are called to lift him up in prayer to help provide for him and his family's needs and to continue to pray for his release. The great Romanian pastor, Richard Wormbrandt, who spent 14 years in prison for his faith, once said, I tremble because of the sufferings of those persecuted in different lands. I tremble thinking about the eternal destiny of their torturers. I tremble for Western Christians who don't help their persecuted brethren. In the depth of my heart, I would like to keep the beauty of my own vineyard and not be involved in such a huge fight. I would like so much to be somewhere in quietness and rest, but it is not possible. The quietness and rest for which I long would be an escape from reality and dangerous for my soul. The West sleeps and must be awakened to see the plight of the captive nations. End quote. Friends, the time is now for us to awaken. If you have studied the persecuted church, there is a familiar theme. Many of the Christian prisoners would tell their families not merely to pray for their release, but to pray for those who persecuted them, and that they would not be released one day sooner than their mission behind prison walls was complete. Knowing Torben's heart for Jesus, I am confident he would ask us to pray in much the same way. Torben is not just a great teacher, evangelist, and church planner. He is a husband and a father. Let us obey the instruction in the Word of God as it is written in Hebrews chapter 13. Remember those who are in prison, as though in prison with them, and those who are mistreated, since you also are in the body. Remember, my friends, it was said of the Israelites, the more they were persecuted, the more they grew in number. May it be with us just as it was for them. Torben is already free, because we know who the sun sets free. is free indeed. But let us cry out for his physical release to come on the exact day as appointed by the Father. But we do ask it be soon for his sake, and the sake of his family and loved ones. 
Friends, the professional and legal fees required to assist Torben are significant, and God has been faithful to provide for all the expense each month. For those of you who have given, we thank you and are extremely grateful. If you feel the Spirit's prompting to continue to contribute to the effort to help cover these costs, as well as those to support his family during this time, you can donate below via the National Christian Foundation. This is a great opportunity to demonstrate our love for Jesus and our support for Torben. As we help to provide for Torben and his family's needs, we can trust the Father will provide for ours. So then, let us remember Torben in our prayers and let's commit to asking the Father how he would have us assist him and his family in this difficult time. And let's pray that the ministry Torben continues, though behind prison walls would come with great power and transformation for both his fellow prisoners and those who now hold him captive. Thank you for listening to this update. We are continuing to pray God's favor and blessing over you 